and you can find it actually on the Why Shall Understand. If you go to the website and scroll down, the top featured article is Staying Inside, Some Things to Think About While You Are Staying Inside. And if you scroll down a little bit further, you'll see this graphic right here that has barley, wheat, and grapes, biblical harvests, and the last days. If you click on this graphic right here, or where it says read more below, then you'll be able to pull up this article right here. Okay, now what I'm going to do just to keep everything really brief and give you an opportunity to go over and read this article for yourself is I'm just going to point out a couple of things. All right, as I scroll down, there's a video that I have there about the biblical harvests it's just an intro there's a movie recommendation the story of Ruth wow why would I have a movie recommendation in this article you'll see why and among the observations that you're going to be able to make with respect to the barley harvest the wheat harvest and the grape harvest it's going to be really exciting when you discover what these ladies in this particular scene of the movie from the story of Ruth what they are actually doing when you look at what the Bible has to say regarding the times in which we're living right now there is simply no mistaking that we are living in prophetic times these are the last days of the present age there is no question about it I'm not saying that it's the end of the world but it's definitely the last days of the present age things are going to be changing soon and the most important thing that you can do right now is to make sure that you have received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord why don't we just begin with that yes we're gonna go over headlines that are resembling themes in Bible prophecy but let's just go ahead and start off with the most important thing that you can do if you have not already done so and that is to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord when Jesus Christ died a substitutionary death on the cross he paid the price for you to be put back in your proper place and your proper place is the place in which you are in right standing with God begins with repentance what does repentance mean it means to turn away from sin and turn to the Lord and to receive what he has already accomplished the gift that he has for you when he died a substitutionary death he actually purchased your redemption if you are a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ then you are a new creation and not only that, but you are seated with Christ in heavenly places. I believe that if you just look at some of the specifics in terms of what is happening, you'll realize that the time is short. We need to be looking up and it is, it's time, it's time to get ready because the time is short I'm gonna go ahead and give you a spoiler alert as it were and what they are doing in this dance right here in this particular scene of the movie at the Harvest Festival is they have these hands that have barley and they're throwing the barley up into the air. What does that sound like to you? There's a reason why. Because in the different harvests, and I've just got to point this out to you. I'm going to be very brief with this. In the harvests, we're going to summarize some things, just key surface level observations with respect to barley. Barley is winnowed. 
that simply means that it is thrown up into the air because it is easy enough to remove the chaff from the grain in this manner. This is traditionally done by repeatedly tossing the grain up into a light wind and the wind gradually blows the lighter chaff away. Now wheat is a little different. With wheat, throwing it into the air would not be adequate to remove the chaff. So it is threshed. In other words, it is beaten because it requires more effort to remove the chaff from the grain. The third harvest is the grape harvest. The process with grapes is different. Now, the harvest references in Bible prophecy are <sighs> extensive. I'm going to let you read this for yourself in the article and then scroll down to a five-part video series that I want you to see. In fact, what we're going to do is I'm going to bring this up in a larger window so that you can see this a little closer. Okay, this video playlist is a five-part video playlist and you have direct links to each part of the video by simply clicking on each of these parts right here okay the YouTube video links are right there for you this is an excellent video series in particular the video that really gets into detail for you in this series is the video for part 5 the link is right here and by simply clicking on this link in the article you'll be able to go to that particular video however what I would recommend is that you watch this excellent series this five-part video series from the beginning I encourage you to watch each of these videos in order part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 and part 5 let me go ahead and scroll back up once again to a picture that you might not have seen uh, too well when I had the screen reduced in the corner this still image is from the movie that I recommend in the article a movie entitled the story of Ruth once again the ladies are doing a dance at the harvest festival they have these pans with barley on the pans and they're throwing the barley up into the air once again what does that sound like as far as the barley harvest is concerned again the fact that it is winnowed by throwing it up into the air is speaking volumes okay find your own parking space on that one but that to me is extremely exciting and it is presenting a word picture which we can take over to our understanding of what the Bible says regarding the rapture and passages where it talks about us being caught up to be with the Lord in the air. Go to the whyshallunderstand.com, scroll down to that second feature article, Biblical Harvests. Click, it'll bring up this article, and you will be so blessed when you go through the video series. You're going to be so excited with respect to the manner in which these things are revealed. It's so exciting. Praise God for His Word and what He has revealed to us in His Word. He's so good. Dear friend, I want to draw your attention to the most important page on the Why Shall Understand. Tap on the menu, it'll toggle, and you can see the gospel. The gospel means the good news, and it is an accounting of the life of Jesus of Nazareth and his Hebrew name being Yeshua, which means the Lord saves. It's summed up in a single verse. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life there's a video that i want you to take a look at on this page it's called the abc's of salvation tap 
and watch that video, please. There's another video which if you tap on this, it'll take you to a website where you'll have an opportunity to watch a three-hour dramatization of the Gospel of John. I encourage you to watch it with your family. It is so well done. It's true verse for verse to that which is written in the Gospel of John. You know, the name of Jesus, you know, his Hebrew name is Yeshua, which once again means the Lord saves. Now, that in and of itself, I mean, it makes you think, wow, he shall call him Yeshua, for he shall save his people from their sins. So awesome. What we have right here, friends, are some verses in the Bible referred to as the four spiritual laws or the Roman road, at least the way that they're organized right here. And what I want you to do is read through these verses. Understand, first of all, that God loves you. We already read John 3.16, but I encourage you to read these verses. Read them with your family. You see number two right here. Man is sinful and separated from God. Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Law number three, Jesus Christ is God's only provision for man's sin. Law number four, we must individually receive Jesus as Savior and Lord. After you read the verses on this page, my friend, what I want to draw your attention to is a prayer of salvation. Now, this is an example, okay? This is an example. But I believe that if you pray this prayer sincerely, God will hear your prayer and you will be saved. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10 verse 13, for whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's what this prayer is all about. You know, just before I go, I want to encourage you once again to click on and visit any one of these links for resources available to you through the Why Shall Understand. And it's been a joy to share with you the Word of God as we consider current events, Bible prophecy, and the Gospel. God bless.